Yo, what's good everyone? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. As you can see from the title, we are back again with yet another review. Now in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a shoe that I only recently talked about in my top 10 upcoming sneakers for April. It's come a lot sooner than I was expecting, even a lot sooner than I said in that video. But we're here now, ready to do this review for all of you guys. So I really do appreciate everyone who's tuned in. If you are one of my returning subscribers, huge shout out to you. And if you're new around here, please feel free to smash that subscribe button and join this amazing community. If you do enjoy the video, a big thumbs up definitely goes a long way in helping getting this video out to more and more people. And if you do want to reach out to me for any reason, you can find me most active on Instagram under ACS Sneakers. And now all the housekeeping is taken care of. Sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. So to kick off this video, just like we always do, let's just take a quick look at the shoe box. And as you can see, we just get that traditional, typical Nike sportswear box. So the box itself is done in that mostly red color with the Nike branding across the front. If we then just take a quick look at the label, which reads, this is the Ermo Uptempo 96 in the iron gray, white, smoke gray colorway. And it is a UK nine as it is a personal pair for me. Inside the box, you just get your pretty standard run-of-the-mill tissue paper, as you should hopefully be able to see. And then underneath that, here we have the kicks. So let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So without any further ado, in hand we have the Nike More Up Tempo 96 in the iron grey colourway. Now this shoe, along with I believe one other colourway, is actually part of the copy and paste pack. Now with that, the copy and paste pack is supposed to signify Nike's heritage by enlarging certain aspects of the shoe, just to give it a slightly different take on the usual vibes. Now as we go throughout this entire review, I'll tell you everything that you need to know about this shoe and hopefully help you guys decide if this is also a shoe you want for your own personal collection as well. So just diving straight into this one, starting out with the upper to begin with. Now the upper has been dressed in a really nice combination of iron grey, white and anthracite. And from a material standpoint, for the vast majority, we do get this synthetic new book material. If we then take a look at the toe box, we do have that embroidered white Nike swoosh on both the left and the right shoe. And from there, if we then work our way onto the lateral sidewall, overlaying that traditional Ur text that we're all used to seeing when it does come to the Ur more up tempo, we do get that enlarged patent leather white Nike swoosh. On the medial side, we have a slightly different take on that copy and paste vibe, as instead of that enlarged swoosh like we see on the lateral side, we get a much smaller Nike swoosh in this oval patch. I almost called it awful patch because I really don't like how it looks. Mm. But as we then just work our way onto the heel of the shoe, it's just back to tradition as normal as we have that dual Nike swoosh. Now it is worth noting that over time, this will actually start to get low. I don't think it's something that's instant or something you need to worry about, but the longer you have the shoe, the more likely it is that this will yellow. Just something to bear in mind for those of you that have never owned a pair of these. But if we then circle our way back into the center of the shoe, we do actually get a really nice twist with these 3M laces. Now we do also have some 3M detailing on the tongue tab as well as on the heel tab as well. So grab a shot of these on feet with the flash on and it just looks even better. Nice. But as we then work our way up the laces to the top of the tongue, again, like we've seen throughout the rest of the shoe, we do have more of that synthetic new book material. And then in the center of the tongue, we do get that white embroidered Nike swoosh. And then even further inside the shoe, we do have this really nice glitch design on the Nike Air branding. Again, leaning into that copy and paste vibe. And then as we do work our way down the shoe, we do get this polyurethane midsole, which has been painted in gray. And also, you do also get visible air units at the four foot, mid foot and heel. Now, when I first grabbed these, I thought this was full length air. It isn't. I didn't realize that at first until I actually started to do a little bit of research. But they are actually all separate air units at the four foot, mid foot and heel. And the separation is actually hidden behind these little rubber pieces on the midsole and outsole. It blew my mind when I found it out because it just looks like it's all connected. But for me, it's an interesting fact for those of you that don't know. If you don't care about that, let's just keep it moving. And then if we do work our way underfoot, we have this beautiful semi-translucent blue outsole with the hits of black on the Nike swoosh as well as on the Air branding as well. And as you can see, we do get that traditional herringbone traction pattern as well. Very, very nice indeed. Now, when it actually does come to the sizing for the up-tempo, I personally do always go true to size. I've owned three pairs and every single time they felt absolutely brilliant on feet for me. So I had the white colorway, the black colorway, and now these, and all three fit exactly the same. So if you are looking for any quick sizing tips, I would personally suggest that you do go with your natural true to size fit. 
But like I always suggest, if you have a chance to try before you buy, then for obvious reasons, that's going to be the best outcome for you. And other than that, we've just about covered everything that's worth mentioning about the shoe itself. So if we now go ahead and wrap up this review. So just to wrap up this video, in terms of my overall opinion on the shoe itself, to give these a rating, I'm going to say that these are easy, a solid 7.5 out of 10. I will be honest with you, when I first saw the picture for these, I thought it looked a lot better than they actually do in hand. It's not often I say that, it's not often I feel like that, because most of the time, when I see a shoe online, I don't really like it that much, and then I get it in hand and it just looks and feels a lot better. But I think for these, the swoosh on the lateral side, which is the main reason I even wanted these, for me, kind of feels like it's cheapening the look. I don't know how you guys are going to feel about it, but I just think it's, in general, it just doesn't look as good as I thought it would. And then the medial swoosh, it's even worse. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep these. Um, I definitely will have to bear it in mind as to whether or not this is a shoe I would even consider wearing. But I think overall, it's not a bad shoe. It's just a little bit disappointing, you know, because I really, really wanted to see these and it didn't really play up to what I was imagining. I would love to get your guys' opinion on it as well. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And also let me know what you guys think of my rating as well. And like I always say at this point in the video, if you have stuck around, I want to say a massive thank you. If you haven't already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.